Can you not no. up, please? Please? Why, honey? I don't want you to sing please. At least not that song. I really don't like that song. Anything but that. We're only getting older, baby. Anything but that. I've been thinking about... Anything but that. I mean, I have no selection. I only have like two songs in my repertoire. No, don't sing. Who's that? Please don't sing. Who's that, Eddie? No, no singing, please. Okay. I come from a family where they always sing all the time. Like, can't you guys just be quiet? No, it's fun. It's <laughs> fun, I promise it's fun. Yo diddly yo yo! Camillo, Ella, No Face, Nanny, Octavia, Corey, Opa, Kiss, Kimono, Warakuba Salam, Hi, hi, Opa? hi, 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 hi. Opa Gangnam Style? Opa as well. <laughs> Aesthetic vids. Shout out. Pickle Chicken. Pickle Chicken. Bon dia. There we go. Como vai? You're so pretty, movie. Hello. Is that your compliment or did somebody else compliment and you just shared it with me? How about we both adopt that compliment for you, honey? How about we share? Sharing is caring. Uh-huh. How are you, my friends? Alhamdulillah, we are good. <laughs> Guys, let me know if you are a returning subscriber or if you are a new subscriber. Ooh, I would like to know that too. How many of you guys are new? Say new if you have if this is your first cooking live. If you are a returning subscriber, tell us as well. Guys, we noticed a bunch of you guys are new on our channel. Hi. So welcome! We love you! Hello, Happy. Hi. Returning. Thank you, Jamie. Returning. Nice. Walaikum asalaam. I am a new subscriber. History, welcome. I've seen you saying hello. That's awesome. A lot of new ones and a lot of returning ones. So guys, if you haven't been here, we're so happy to have you. Basically... What we do here is like a cooking live. I tend to answer more questions. Mubina does cooking. You guys ask why I'm not cooking because it's her territory. When she's in the kitchen, we do not do things together. So that's why I'm not going to be cooking guys, with he's her. he's not allowed to touch anything when I'm in the kitchen. Yeah. That's the thing. So that's answer to that. By the way, guys, check out our new little toy. It's a dishwasher we recently got. It's a countertop dishwasher. So he really had to con convince me to get that because... I'm not so into the whole concept of a small dishwasher. I like big dishwashers and we have a big one, like right here, but it doesn't work with our sink. Okay. But the specialty for this one is that you don't need a sink. Guys, I know this is small. Like, so we have, yeah, I know this is small, but this actually, you can see, it does clean a reasonable amount and like it's perfectly clean. Guys, it cleans really well. Like, it's my husband clean. used to wash dishes, and this one cleans better than him. Yeah, it definitely cleans better than me, and it saves me a ton of time. Guys, if you have not moved out yet, and you have a dishwasher or whatnot, be happy, because dishwashing, I swear, is the worst chore. I think it is. I it ruins my hands, it ruins my nails. Yeah. I can't wash dishes anymore, guys, because my nails, like, they started, like, falling out, literally. I start having so many problems with my nails. And I can't wear those gloves either because they make my hands feel really, Ouch. really weird. So I'm going to just explain. So where you, I got this on Amazon, guys. And the beautiful thing is, okay, if you can see our sink, right, it does not actually attach to a dishwasher because we're not allowed that in our building, nor does it attach. It's made that way. So the, the cool thing with this dishwasher is, I don't know if you guys don't mind the mess if you see any, there's a little cap under there where you can actually fill with a water jug. It takes five liters. You throw in a dish pod and then that's it and it cleans it really, really well. So even if you don't have a way to hook it up to your sink, you just pour five liters of this into the top, and that's it. It's really useful. You look so healthy and happy, Afi. Thank, Thank you. you. Ria Katie, welcome back. Um, yeah, guys, it's been a really busy day. If you're wondering why do you guys have cooking lives at this time, we're just really busy. Um, we were filming a promotion earlier today. We we're filming a TikTok earlier today. We we're at the grocery store, just doing not so other non-interesting stuff, and that's now we're here. So, guys, for all the new people here, we always, always brag about this, but guys, this is literally the best lemon squeezer ever. <laughs> it's the best, like yeah. legit. We I've used the one that you have to like squeeze like this with your hands, but this one you just add the lemon. And then you twist it and a bunch of lemon juice comes out. And it's so efficient because you get a lot of lemon juice. 
do this a lot <laughs> from one lemon. Let me show you guys. So you're going to show you guys how Look, it works. this is a piece of lemon that I'm going to squeeze out. Look how much you get in there. Hello from Jordan Chicken. Shout out. Aesthetic Vids. Shout out. I have to go. Yes, guys, we will be rating the food at the end as well. Notice me, Rosalie. We see you. It's late, guys. It's almost 12 a.m. here. You might be wondering why we call this live cooking and crying. It's because we're crying over the fact that we're cooking at 12 at night. <laughs> it's good. Sometimes this is regular if you guys have been here before. <laughs> we would do earlier lives. It's just we don't always get the chance to do that. Why okay. Come to so guys, look. This is like the lemon. It's completely clean. And look how much juice came out. Look at this. Look at this. Lots. <laughs> Someone said, why Toronto? It is, is, it, is it not really expensive? What do you mean? You guys have a question? Show it. It's pretty good, guys, if you get that lemon squeezer. They all love that lemon squeeze on Bon Appetit Test Kitchen. I need that shout out. Just a normal weave shout out. We're in the same time zone. Yes, we're in Eastern Standard Time. So whatever time that is, I guess similar to New York would probably have a similar time to us as well. My mom recommended Toronto, that uh, lemon squeezer for us. Where did you get it? Huh? Where did you get it? My mom gave it. But do you know where they, they can get it if they want to buy it? I think they can get it on Amazon. But yeah, a lot of our stuff we get from Amazon, guys. <laughs> Amazon We're Amazon people. We like Amazon. We like our Amazon. I'm gonna get my ingredients Whoa, out. Whoa, this is the first time I'm watching one of your lives. Wee! Dr. Pirazadi, welcome. Alhamdulillah, we're good guys. Greetings from Philly. Greetings from Toronto. What do you think about Australia? We would love to visit. There's a few of you from Australia. Pickled chicken. It's not. It's like a, a charred chicken. And she puts tomato in it. I don't know if it's like pickled per se. It's like tomatoes, chicken, and some other like uh, masalas. So it's not flavor. pickled chicken. It's pickled chicken. So like the <laughs> masala. said the same thing. <laughs> no, pickled and pickle. They're okay. two different words. So there's an ed at the end, but pickled chicken is basically like you use this masala mm. or seasoning that they already have pre-made and it has a pickle flavor and then you add that flavoring to the chicken. Camilo, I love your glasses. I feel like I'm due for a new pair. I've been having these for a few years, but they get the job done. Someone says, need advice, please let me to take my shahada, please. Caleb, if you want, you can message us, DM us on Instagram. You can also DM us on our personal Instagram. The best way to reach me would be my personal Instagram. Um, and we can go through it there if you'd like. Um, or you can join our Discord and we can do it there with everyone there. If you'd prefer, it's up to you. But yeah, we, that's awesome. Um, we'd be happy to help you with that. What do you think about Michigan? I live there. Um, I've been there before, briefly. I've driven through it at least. I haven't been like stopped there, I don't think. Michigan? Yeah. My sister used to have a lot of hockey tournaments in different states. Went to Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, went to from Michigan. I don't think she played a hockey game there, but... Have you tried this dish before, Mandy? Yes, I have. I actually, I actually know how to cook. This is one of the few dishes I actually know how to cook myself. Guys, you actually cooked it pretty good too. I have a, uh, ingre I have instructions with them how to cook this dish. <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> I'm just gonna move over here. I'm in Toronto. We are Fatima. We are too. That's awesome. The easiest dish to make. I don't think this one's that bad. This one's the easiest. This one is the easiest. There isn't much you can do. Ducks are adorable. Jessica, hello. The Discord server name is, um, you can find it on our TikTok or Instagram, guys. Go on our TikTok or Instagram, click on the link tree, and you'll be able to find it. It should be Medina TV. Check out Medina TV. Do you know how to cook? Probably, I know how to cook a few dishes. Not too many. Guys, he's good. He's For good at cooking. But I, I'm very, very picky. It's I'm kind of scared him. to cook for her, to be honest, because she's very particular with the food, and she wants it, like, very spicy as well. So that's a trick for us as an intercultural couple, is that she likes very spicy. I like mild to medium spice, usually. So trying to find a balance in our food of both is kind of tricky. How do you manage that? It's hard. Like, when you cook this, and you're like, oh, I can't overkill it with spice. Yeah. Are we have green chilies? No, we don't. It's okay. Okay. Are you guys in Scarborough? No, we're not from Scarborough. We went to school in uh, University of Toronto, Scarborough, but we're not there. 
Are you guys fasting? I'm not fasting. Hello. Yes, that is a baby gate in the background. We use it for our cats because they used to come in here and we had plants in here that they would eat the plant. Try it. We'll try it eating the plant. Uh, and then they would get hairs in here, so we don't keep the cats in here. So, one thing guys, if you have a question, please do not spam. We will have to mute because it affects the experience of everyone else. So, I'm going to try not to mute too many people because we don't like doing that. But just like, try not to ask the same question every two seconds. In Canada, we have clearly contacts. In Toronto, they have a location at Queen Street. Is that for contact lenses? If you guys stick around, you might be able to see the cats. We try to show the cats in our lives near the end. Do you have your Eid clothes? Hi, Juliet. Hope you're doing well. We, we don't have our Eid clothes, mostly because we don't really get anything new for Eid anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, like, for Eid, we just wear something clean and new that we have already. Yeah. Like, we don't go and buy anything new. We, we, we did buy something new for Eid al Fitr, but we haven't gotten anything new for this coming Eid, Eid al Adha. Oh, we might be getting something new actually from Nopa Deen, so we might wear that. Oh, actually, yes, yeah. yes, yes, we, we might be getting something new. Yep. It's for it's for a promotion we're going to be doing, but uh, you guys will find out very soon. Can you, you see, see me? it on Instagram. Yes, I see you, I see you. You guys will see it on Instagram, and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. So the thing is, I have never worn a jilbab outside, and this will be my first time wearing a jilbab outside, and we're going to film that. You excited, Hadi? I am excited. <laughs> if you guys want a little update on the cooking situation, Lubina is... I added the chicken. I'm just uh, yeah. trying it. So what do you have in there so far? Is there like garlic and other things in there? Just garlic, ginger, and chicken. That's it. And I will be adding... Um, I will be adding tomato soon. Yeah. They put a lot of love and care in their food and a lot of seasoning. For me... Like back when I used to make food, that could have been done for me. <laughs> Just like plain chicken, but you gotta add the flavor. Can you ship the chicken to New Zealand? Come have a buffet with us here in Canada. So, I do want to say that we would post the recipe for this, guys. I'm not sure if it's in the Discord already, but we don't know when we're going to get a chance to post it. If we do get a chance, we definitely will share the recipe, but there's been times when we've said we'll post it, and we just never got a chance, so I don't want to give you guys a false promise because we just have so much going on right now but uh inshallah if we can post it Mubina, do you think we can post the recipe for this i think it's very very simple i can tell you guys the recipe right now if you want to write it down fast i can um i can then later add the recipe as well okay in the description for this video okay. but if you guys want to know it's so simple so basically you just make this chicken simmer um or whatever like you cook it and then until it's cooked you wait till it's like completely white <laughs> um, and then when it's completely cooked what you do is you add tomatoes like cut tomatoes into it and then you wait for the tomato to become a puree inside this and then once that's done you add this achari masala into it and then you mix okay. it completely then you add yogurt and then you're done yes pretty much all right yeah it's a pretty simple recipe guys um where is Nedi from um, we're both Canadian. My father is Armenian. My mother is Portuguese. May we please see your bird if that's okay. If we can show her, I don't think we're going to be able to show her on this live. She's in a separate room right now, but we can probably show the cats near the end. Just remind us, guys, at the end when we're almost about to sign off. Can you do a link of the Discord server? I'll see. I don't know if I can do it right now. What I can do, guys, I can add the links when the live... Hmm. Let me see. Is there a way to do that right now? I'll see if I can. If I went on a computer, I can do it. Mubina, mm -hmm. is there a way I can borrow your phone for a second? I just want to add uh, the, the link, see if I can add it. Just give me a sec, guys. I'm going to see if I can add the Discord link onto the live. Start cutting these tomatoes. Copy well. link. Let it go on our live. Okay, this is, I guess, this is the way I'm going to do it, guys. 
Can you guys see the link? Right there, guys. It says Patreon. The Patreon link is where you can uh, click to access our Discord. So we have a nice little community of people there. Um, and there's a lot of reverts. You don't have to be Muslim to join. And basically, we just kind of hang out, talk there. We learn new things. People ask questions. They share things. We have a pet channel. We have we have a recipe in there as well. We still have to add more to our Discord over time. But, like, yeah, it does have a group of people there that are really sweet. Guys, the thing about our Discord is that we want to make it, like, a space, a safe space for people to just share their thoughts, no matter what thoughts you guys have. Yeah. Every single thought is welcome. Every single feedback is welcome. No one is, like, we don't like when people judge. So, like, most of our community is of people that don't judge at all. So, yeah. we're very happy with the community we've created on our Discord. Yes, it's like a very small, intimate uh, community. People know each other for the most part, unless you're joining. But then people are very welcoming as well. Yeah. Guys, please smash the like button on this live and help us get to 150 likes. We actually had some conversions on our Discord, which surprised us completely because... We didn't even know that people might like not yeah. convert in there, so it's kind of beautiful. We've had at least six to eight conversions in the Discord. I've lost track of the number exactly, but a lot of people have converted in there as well. I'm doing, but that's not obvious. That's not the purpose of why we started it. It's just kind of cool how people uh, yeah. want to become Muslim. We didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> I actually had no idea. So the first when the first conversion happened, I was like, no way. That's beautiful. Hi, my name is Gadir. Can you please read this out loud? I love your videos, Messina. Thank you. I'm not Muslim, but I love learning about the culture. Thank you, Jordan. Love back from Canada. So I'm adding the tomatoes now. So I will try to moderate this, guys. We do have some moderators here. I'm not sure if they're as active right now, but um, yes, please do not spam. So, Musa one of Mil? moderators can't make it right now because she's a little bit busy, but if there's any other moderators, please help us out. <laughs> Musa Mil, uh, I will, inshallah, add the Discord link in the description. Let you me see. Can you do it right now? Or? Um, let me see if I can do it. I should be able to do that. Just give me a sec, guys. So see. much tomato juice. How do I get to the description box? Let me see. You have to do it through the... Uh through the actual browser link for studio. Okay. Let's try it here. Live is here. It's not... I, okay, I'm honestly not sure how to do that. I'll do it. Would you be able to add it right now? Yeah, just give me a moment. I just okay. need to like, cut the tomato and then I'll do it. Sorry guys. Why is the crying in the title, are you chopping onions? I thought we were going to, but we're not chopping onions. We're crying over how late this live is. Yeah, we're, I don't know about Mubina, but like, yeah, we're kind of hungry and we're making food late, so, I mean, that's the life. Welcome to love. I'm crying over how busy my life is. Guys, let's share how busy our life is. What do you guys do on a day-to-day -day basis? Are you asking them? Yeah, I'm asking them. Guys, what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? How's your day been? Let us know how your day's been. Ours has been like kind of non-stop. We're getting a lot of promotions and things going on right now, so it's just been kind of hectic. And we're trying to catch up on that. Alhamdulillah, it's been productive for us. But when this you do is social... our job, but it gets hard because sometimes a lot of things happen at once. <laughs> when you do social media, it's basically like a 24-7 type of job. I've done full-time work. I've done this. I definitely say this is busier, but it's a lot more fun as well than doing like a standard 9-to-5 job. Well, it depends on if you enjoy working with this, you know. I personally enjoy it a lot more than doing jobs. My life is tough because I'm trying to keep my diet halal in a Christian family without them figuring it out. I, oh, wow. I feel for you, there's a lot of people in that situation. Uh, man. What to do in that situation? That's 
hard. That's very tough. I think one one option is you can just tell them you've switched to becoming a vegetarian, so you can limit the amount of haram food you're eating. I think I told like I think I told my husband to do that when he was just starting out with his uh, Islamic research, but he told me that his family would just be very suspicious. So. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if your family is very suspicious, you should be mindful of that as well. And maybe, like, start it gradually, showing them, like, that you're vegetarian. It's tricky because as Muslims, we do live, like, although we're not completely different from, like, you know, other people, we do live differently in terms of diet and some other things. So it's like, I personally find a lot more freedom living, when I started living on my own and I was able to practice Islam the way I wanted to, I converted living by myself, not with my parents there, so it just made my life a lot easier. Alhamdulillah, I, I found Islam when I was living in my apartment by myself, so I know a lot of people aren't in that situation, everyone has their own situation, but you just have to be patient, pray to Allah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make things easy for you all in this life, I mean. Um, Can you show us the chicken? Absolutely. Sure, guys. Look, I'm just, um, I just added all the crushed tomatoes. Well, they weren't crushed, but all the chopped tomatoes, and I'm just making it into puree. And if you guys see, like, it's already very watery, so I have to make it, like, a little bit dry. Yes, guys, if you want updates, let me know when you want updates, and I'll show you what's going on. So, guys, this is actually, um, the chicken we're using is actually a combination between boneless chicken and chicken thighs. Are these chicken thighs or drumsticks? I'll call them drumsticks. I think they're not thighs, they're drumsticks. Okay, so combination of drumsticks and boneless chicken. The reason we did it like this is because my husband likes chicken in his food. They he said <laughs> the chicken is too white. We haven't added any seasoning, like masala's not added. It's, yeah. it's not going to look like this in the end, guys. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get that color. She's just first cooking it, now she's adding tomatoes in it, and then the seasoning is going to go on. Yeah. Yes, we are. Kar Karthika, we haven't seasoned it yet. We're not eating it just like this. Exactly. Can you imagine eating chicken just like this? Guys, my husband told me that's how they eat chicken. Like That's how white people <laughs> eat, eat. Some white people, at least I did, eat chicken. <laughs> but, I mean, you need flavor. I can't go back. It's so I, sad. I love your choice. You two have inspired me to convert. May, oh, that's amazing. May Allah bless you, Coco. Uh, Amin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. Amin, we're very happy for you. Um, we don't make our videos per se for people to convert, but if people take interest in Islam and they want to convert, it's like, that's amazing. So we're happy for you. Now I'm low-key like wishing we had the like big green chilies, but it's okay. Is that masala? Yeah. Okay, so this is where you might start seeing color in the chicken. But this is not all of the masala, so I'm just adding the lemon masala okay. paste first. So guys, it looks like this. So I just mix some lemon juice into it and it looks like a paste. So I'm just going to add the paste. I'm going to add masala later as well because this is not enough masala. Zaina, Zaina I think is here now. Zaina, you're here? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Zaina. Sister Zayda, we might need a bit guys. of a hand with some of the um, spam. You guys have been really nice, all the commenters. It's just a little spamming. <laughs> My brother's guys, one of my favorite people in the world is here on the live right now, Zainab Mashallah. My brother's name is Peter, which is a Christian Bible name, but he has converted to Islam. So, uh, how should he choose to change the name? Um, I would contact a scholar. I don't want to give you advice on that. Yeah. But generally, I can, all I can say is like, if you have Christian names, for example, or like Christopher or Christina, maybe Peter as well. I don't think that's, a, that's not an Islamic name. Um, in that case, yeah, like you might want to change the name to something Islamic. There's a lot of Arab names that you can choose. Um, so I would contact a scholar if you need further clarification. You can also search it up as well. I don't want to personally advise you on that. I believe Doritos are halal. We personally, for the most part, avoid Doritos, Cheetos, things like that because um, they contain animal enzymes, which are haram, at least where we live. Guys, so, we actually contacted the factory and they told us that it includes animal enzymes. And because animal enzymes cannot be extracted from an animal unless the animal is dead, we can't eat it because that enzyme comes from and from an animal that wasn't slaughtered correctly. So, where do you live? We're from Toronto, guys. I'm eating cotton candy right now. Nice. We had some a few weeks ago. So yeah, all those like cheese type of snacks, like Cheetos, Doritos, you gotta be careful with because they have some animal enzymes which make it like haram. We get the kosher Maybe. ones. We always look for um, kosher, yeah. See, now the chicken doesn't look as 
white. <laughs> it's not going to look as white anymore. I added the seasoning, but I have to add more seasoning. It's not done yet. Mm. Red dye has beetles and Doritos have red dye. It does? That's what someone had mentioned. Carmine. I think it's called Carmine, the beetle dye. Do you guys enjoy praying and making duas, or is it just me? I think we should all... Um, if you don't look forward to it, find a way to look forward to it. I think, honestly, I will say that certain times, like, things... You're not, as a human being, you're not always going to be in the perfect mode. Sometimes you're... I don't want to say your faith goes up. For a lot of people, their faith goes, like, kind of, like, up and down a little bit. For me, it's not that. It's just sometimes, like, for example, waking up for Fajr and, you know, the late prayers as well. Magram and Isha can be a little bit... Um, Hard. You have to kind of push yourself a lot. It, yeah. can, it can be challenging. It can be challenging. Like, there's times legit. Like, yesterday I was, like, almost falling asleep on the floor, and I had to, like, choose to get up. Otherwise, I was going to be late. So, like, you have to really push yourself at times. I find the afternoon prayers to be the easiest, but the... the I'd say Fudger is, like, then Fudger, and then the night ones are the hardest ones for me, I think. Is Zaina still there? Guys, you I'll guys, check. like, ask us sometimes um, if we have, like, uh, any content on mental health. If you guys are looking for mental health content... Please check out Zaina's page because she talks a lot about narcissism and mental health in general. Yeah, it's very interesting topics. And we we will be adding, inshallah, topics on our channel about mental health as well because we both have experiences that we've been through that we haven't fully disclosed or shared yet. So, yeah. can a person convert at any age? Yes, you can. Anyone can convert to Islam. You can convert at any time. You just have to make sure, like, you feel it in your heart and you know, like, what you're doing when you're converting. At least, like, you know... Some people are like, I'm just going to convert to Islam and I know nothing about it. So at least be a little bit educated on what you're getting yourself into. Okay, there's Zayna. I see Zayna in the comments. Yay, Zayna. Much love from... Much love from Ohio. Sister Zayna. I think the Discord and Patreon is on their social media. Thank you, Faith. Yes, it is. And inshallah, we will add it in the description. Uh, when Mubina gets a chance or after the live, I will add it. I might add it right now, just give it to me. If you can, because like they're asking Please, for Please, let me add it right now. I just don't want you guys to not get it. Do you have my phone? I'm struggling to offer namaz because I'm the only convert in a Hindu family. I really want to know what are your takes on Islamic way of dealing with with mental health. Um, That's a kind of a... I'm sorry you're going through that firstly. I think it's a kind of a broad general question. So I, what do you mean specifically in regards to that? I definitely feel for you, a lot of you guys are converts and families where no one knows that you've converted to Islam, so I, I definitely feel for you in that. I was just recently in a mental health hospital after I attempted. Juliet, we hope everything is okay. Um, I'm really sorry to hear that. But I hope things are getting better. Guys, I just want to say, a lot of people are in really bad situations, especially during COVID. There's been a lot of people in like rough situations, and even right now. But I think it's really important. Like I've gone through in my life very serious depression when I was younger, um, and it was hard. And there's been times when I even thought about potentially wanting to take my life, and that's not something that I've really shared. Uh, Alhamdulillah, it's been good for a long time now because I've gotten it under control. Everything's good. But when I was younger, it was very, very like it's a very real reality for me. And I think it's important that you just have to stay patient because things will get better. I think even like being Muslim, being uh, following Islam, it's really helped me with that as well. It's really changed my perspective on how I live and everything. Thank Zayna's you. just sitting by our door, meowing. Zayna, you just got a new subscriber. That's awesome. Yes, guys, go subscribe to Sister Zayna. She's on our featured channels, guys. If you can't find her, yeah, then you can check her there. Also, she has her own brand, guys. Modest Behavior. Check if it you out, guys, guys like hijabs, niqabs that are satin based or like chiffon, she has a bunch. Check her page out. If you have a link for her page, you can, we can add it. Look. Do you have your, it. give me your phone for a sec. I just have to watch the chicken because like I don't want it to burn. No, that's fine. So I'm like all over the place right now. Let me see if I can get a link for her page. Um. Sorry guys, I'm just taking pauses here to get me. So guys, the last step that I'm doing right now is adding a bunch of yogurt. So, it's gonna be the last step. I'm almost done. Pretty much done, actually. Gotta add a bunch of yogurt. Okay. There we go. Ow. 
getting like bubbles on me. <laughs> oh. Oh, it went in my eye. Okay. <laughs> that was painful. Honey. What? You know how to add a link from here? Guys, I'm like te technologically challenged, I'm sorry. Do you see me getting splashed right now? Do you want a link? <laughs> I don't, I'll do it. Hang on, let me see. I don't know how to send it. Sorry guys. Do you guys, okay, I'm gonna have to mute this because it's like too many times. Yes, we do like to travel guys. Inshallah, we will be uh, going on a trip very soon. Um, we still have to confirm it, but we might be going on a trip to, they said Lebanon and Turkey. So we're going to see if that, that happens, inshallah, in August. Yeah. And if we do, we guys will post videos from there for sure. I already copied the link. You can paste it. Okay, I'm just going to like... I added okay, guys, I added a link here for Sister Zaina's website. Go check it out if you want um, hijabs, niqabs, underscarves, everything there. You guys can click that. Okay, it's this. weird because your comments are showing up differently on the phone versus the... Have you guys seen Multiverse of Madness? And who's your favorite Marvel character? I haven't seen that. Have you seen it, Mubina? What? Multiverse of Madness. I have no idea what that is. We live in Wolfsburg, and we have to go to Berlin, Germany once a week to our mosque. It's quite a long trip, but it's worth it. Alhamdulillah. For you guys who are asking why do Muslims change their name, if you have a bad, your meaning has a bad name, like say for example your name was Lucifer or something bad, or like not saying this is bad, but like say you have a Christian name or a name from your previous faith, uh, that's when you, it would be better for you to change your name. For specific situations and circumstances, contact a scholar to see whether it would be advisable for you to change your name. But it's also rewarding if say for example we have names from the Quran, every time someone says your name they get reward. It's a rewarding thing to have your name as, you know, one of the words mentioned in the Quran as well. Exactly. Do you have to wash your clothes separately? We make different piles of clothes, but we don't wash our clothes separately. What do you mean by wash our clothes separately? Like, separate from, like, other people, or? Yeah. Se separate how? I just want to know. What are your guys' favorite color? And oh, oh hello from Sita family, or hi from just me? Hello, Sita. And thank you for putting the pronunciation there so I don't butcher it. Uh, favorite color, mine is yellow. Mubina likes red and she also likes blue. He finally got it right! <laughs> Sometimes I say blue, she's like, no, it's red. I say red, no, it's blue. But she likes, she likes red and blue. I meant to say we can't wear tight-fitted clothes in public, yeah. Everyone's on their own journey, guys. You might see, like, I think that's what's confusing as well. Some people are asking, why do you guys wear face veils? Some women wear hijab. Some women might wear more tight-fitting clothing outside. There are certain guidelines that we're, that Muslim women and men are supposed to follow. But everyone's on their own journey, and some people understand things a bit differently. So it's just best not to be judgmental. A lot of people know what they're doing, and people are like trying to be rude and advising them. But Guys, know, the reality of the situation is, I didn't understand the hijab without the face veil. I just didn't. That was my own personal thing. I didn't understand it because it just didn't make sense to me. For me, it doesn't make sense that you have to cover yourself but not your face. Mostly because, um, like, that's the most attractive part about you. Like, that's the first thing people notice, your face. I knew that whenever somebody looked at my face, you know, they would comment on it. I got the most comments about my face. So I was like, how can we just wear a hijab and then it makes sense? It, it just didn't make sense to me. For me, it meant more to fully cover up because that way no one will know who you are. No one can tell who you are and no one can comment on who you are. It just makes it seem more secure in a way, like very protected. Also, I found hadith that, you know, showed that you have to cover your face. There are many hadith in Bukhari that you can find yourself about how the Prophet Sallallahu wife Aisha used to cover her face. There are other hadith about women who would cover their face after the verse revealed in Surah Zab. So you guys can do your own research about how the niqab is there. A lot of people say niqab is cultural. That's the opinion that they follow. For me, I believe the niqab is mandatory. That's just what it is. Isn't there like a verse in the Quran that says like cover whatever you can? Like cover yeah, adornments so and cover whatever you can? In Surah Nur, there's a verse, right? And it says cover whatever is an adornment. And then whatever you can't control, don't cover that. You guys, don't mind the cat in the background. 
She's yeah. meowing right we now. We love her so much. She was eating, they were eating chicken before. You guys want to see? Oh, it's little Sierra. She makes a lot of sound, and it's pretty cute. Our other count, our other cats are a little bit more quiet. She loves to meow. Uh, she loves to play. If you guys want to see more of our cats, follow us on Instagram because we post stories ow, there. Ow, ow. You okay? It's like a shit. Do you want me to hold it? No. Okay, guys, I'll give you a quick update on the chicken if you can see it. It's like this. Oh my god, it's this. See, it's got a lot more color now. It's not like plain as it was before. I'm gonna keep cooking it until all the oil comes to the top. That means all the water has evaporated. Try some Mexican food next. We love Mexican food. We want to make Mexican food. We should, maybe, we should make Mexican maybe food. Maybe next time I'll make like a chari chicken and we make like burritos out of it. I just want to give a shout out. Someone had given us um, a donation. I think it was Pilot Pete, but let me just check. Thank you so much. I'm Pilot sorry Pete. guys, your comments are getting like kind of Pilot Pete. Hi from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Love and peace. Thank you so much, Pilot Pete. I've actually been there. I went. On, that's where I took my cruise ship from, this Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We went on a Caribbean cruise like 10 years ago plus, like well, 15 really years ago. Go. I really want to go on a cruise. I want to go on a, a halal cruise, Mubina. Yeah, you don't want to go on like other, like the cruise I went on, we went on during spring break and then there was teenagers and they were like throwing things overboard, running around with no clothes on, like legit no clothes. It was crazy. <laughs> like banging on our door it was a mess but the places we went to were a lot of fun we got unlimited ice cream on the ship unlimited food so if we find a halal cruise ship i would love to take you on that inshallah what is you think is the most important part to you in your religion i think being close to god and all of our actions are basically aimed to lead us to be close to god whether it's prayer whether it's giving charity fasting all of the actions modesty why are you crying i'm not crying are you talking about the title. cat? Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. The meowing, I want to cuddle her. We try, I try holding her, and she's just so squirmy. She just jumps out. Hazel's a pretty good cuddler, I'd say, of the three. But, uh, yeah, she's cute. Show cats. We will show probably near the end, guys, when we go outside. We're not going to hang out too much after the food, but we can show you the cats, because I know some of you guys are waiting. Can you celebrate Christmas if it's a non not a religious practice? Well, the reality is a lot of people treat Christmas in like a non-religious way anyway. So whether we do it for religion or not, it's not permissible for us. Because mm -hmm. we're basically imitating um, traditions of non-believers. And we don't do that. We have our own holidays that we celebrate in Islam. Eid al-Adha. I probably pronounced that really bad. Eid al-Adha. It's coming up very soon, so that's a, a second Eid that's coming up. Is there a halal cruise? There actually is. We contacted one. We haven't heard back from them as of yet, but there is. There are some in like Indonesia and some other parts of the world. Uh, we would love to go on a halal cruise. Was there? Why was there an ad before the live? I think, I think it just would show up. It may not show up every time for you, but we have ads on our videos. And I think even non-monetized channels have ads now, so I can't really yeah, control that. Like you don't, you don't have to be monetized to get ads. Inshallah. Now. Yes, guys. My previous religion was Christianity. What are your plans on this E? I'll add that. I'm honestly not sure what specifically we're doing on that day. All I, all we've done so far, I know about is uh, Kurbani, but I don't know what's going on on that specific day. So if you guys are wondering what uh, uh, Kurbani is, basically around this time, for you guys who are like non-Muslim or not aware, we, we tend to buy, some people actually sacrifice the animal themselves in a halal way, of course, in a non-painful, humane way. We ourselves don't do that, so we send money over um, abroad for us, and in Pakistan, we end up buying a cow, and then the meat is given to people, because a lot of people in the world do not have access to meat. So it's, it's commemorating like what happened with Ibrahim, Abraham, alayhi salam. Uh, the sacrifice that he had to make at that time, so yeah. that's part of our second E. That's our second E. Can you do a mutton biryani stream? I'm not sure we're gonna make mutton. We don't really eat mutton. I'm not sure if Mubina eats that. Yeah, guys. No, we don't eat mutton. She's outside with the cats. What is mutton anyway? Sheep? I forget. It's like sheep. I think. I think it's sheep, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I've never. I think it's lamb or sheep. My parents never made mutton. I never really ate mutton, so I don't know. They actually, the cats did have some chicken before the live sheep meat. Okay, 
I really appreciate the ideology of both of you. Thank you. I want to be a Nakabi. Inshallah. It's lamb. I love lamb biryani. We never eat lamb here. We don't eat goats. We just eat chicken. I wish we ate more fish. Mubina does not like fish. He's gone through like a kind of traumatic experience with fish, so we don't eat that. Usually we eat chicken for the most part and some beef. So, um, the sacrifice for my recollection of it is that Ibrahim, alayhi salam, Abraham was asked to, like, sacrifice his son. And then he was about to do it. And then God loved it, his, his devotion so much that he ended up sending down an animal. Mubina, what was the animal that was sent down? Sheep. Sheep. So, it, so it, Abraham was about to sacrifice his son. And just as he was to do it, God sent down a sheep instead for him to sacrifice. So it's like a commemoration of that moment. And so we give meat to people who are in need. And it's really sad. There's a lot of people who don't have access to meat around the world. So it's just an act of charity that we can do as Muslims to give back to the community. So any of you guys, if you guys like click on our Launch Good website on our um, Instagram, for example, you can also donate Kurbani. Whether you're Muslim or not, you guys can do it if you want. Personally, Christianity is for me because I have a, a, a love for reptiles and dogs. and wouldn't be happy without my deity and my... Katahula, but I love you guys' channel to learn about others' cultures. Don't get me wrong, I love I love uh, dogs, I've also loved reptiles as well, but for me, it's more important um, that I'm doing what God wants me to do, that in my belief, than for an animal, to be honest with you. I've grown up with dogs since I was four years old, my whole life. For over 20 years, like 20 years, I've had dogs. And it was, it definitely wouldn't have been easy if I had a dog and I had to give that up, but you gotta do what you have to do. For me, God comes first. So if I have to give my dog away, it would be really hard. But And I almost got a dog before I converted to. Alhamdulillah, I didn't. And in certain circumstances, we can keep dogs, guys. But in general, for the average person, we don't keep dogs in our home as Muslims. So God, for me, comes first over everything. Everything in this world is just temporary. Um, even, like, you know, my parents, for example, they told me don't convert. They don't want me to convert. Like, don't marry Mubina, things like that. For me, God comes first. So if even even in circumstances where your parents tell you not to do something, if it goes against Islam, you don't have to listen in that respect. You should be respectful to your family, but you don't have to listen. So it's always important to put God first over everything. Okay, Gary, you can show them the chicken at this point. It's almost done. Okay. Guys, if you can see, it does not look white anymore, does it? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, so I added yogurt and everything, and now I'm just waiting for all the water to simmer out. So once all the water simmers out, that means the chicken is done and you can start munching onto it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's just absorbing all the flavors right now. Well, food, hello. I wear loose jeans. Me and my brother have not told our family and that is good as I can only 17 after three hours once a week and do school. Full. So I'm assuming you have converted and your brother as well. Are jeans evil? Not all jeans. From my understanding, there's good jinns and there's bad jinns. The jinns also have different religions as well. There's, there are Muslim jinns, there's Christian jinns, probably atheist jinns as well. So we can't really categorize, say they're all bad. But from my understanding, if like, say for example, jinns who possess humans is, you know, they're doing something that they're not supposed to be doing that, right? So that's a, that's a I guess, sin for them. They're not supposed to be, you know, possessing human beings. They're not supposed to intercede and come in our world and do stuff like that. Jinns are basically another creation, so it's not just, like, we believe there are jinns around. I don't know if there's any jinns here, but we oh, believe, we are. yeah, there's jinns, we, we don't necessarily see them, but they exist, and they're made of fire, so it's a different creation of Allah, and like I said, they have different religions, and they live, but we don't necessarily see them, but animals can, can see them, apparently, so like cats, for example, they can see jinn, dogs can see jinn. Can you touch dogs and pigs? We can touch dogs, um, but we try not to get licked by them because we believe the saliva is impure. But yeah, like we picked up dogs, I've, we pet dogs, Mubina's pet dogs, held dogs, she has a picture on her Instagram with that. Pigs overall, we don't tend to touch. I know Mubina would definitely not feel comfortable touching a pig. I think pigs are kind of cute animals. I actually wanted a pet pig when I was like younger for years. Um, but pigs are not clean, and we shouldn't keep them as pets. We don't keep them as pets. So. Is there a way to get rid of gins if you don't want them around? The bad gins, yes. 
You just recite Audhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Bismillah Rahman Rahim. And jinns tend to go um, in like unclean places and in dark places. Keep your places clean. Keep them clean, and we tend to keep lights on in our home. If you have like complete darkness, and I'm not trying to spook you guys or anything, but um, after Maghrib time, don't turn all the lights off. Online. They tend to go in dark places and also unclean places. I ate a pig a while ago. Okay. Yes, we converted, but we can't tell her family due to certain circumstances, so I can only wear loose jeans to hide the fact that I'm Muslim, but them, but I feel bad that I cannot do better. That's amazing. Don't feel bad, because Allah knows the struggle that you're going through. You're doing all that you can. Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you and give you the opportunity to be able to dress the way that you want. Guys, I'm telling you, it's, um, it's the best feeling to be able to practice the way you want. Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you to be able to do that making it easy for you on me. I live, I live alone, please. I'm sorry. Sister Zaina, I'm sorry about my comment was insensitive about that. Um, I feel comment? bad because I was saying jinns tend to go in like unclean oh, and dark no, places. Don't say stuff like that. I'm just telling, alone. I'm telling the others to know. <laughs> but if you keep your lights on, you're good. But Zaina, you're so pure, mashallah. No bad jinns gonna come near you. Mashallah, yeah. And you always have Quran clean, so. Guys, Quran, Surah Baqarah gets rid of all bad jinns. <laughs> Guys, the food is gonna be lit, I'm telling you. And um, yeah, so jinns can, I'm not going to go too much in this topic, I'm not super knowledgeable about it at all, but jinns can also possess people, which I said they're not supposed to do. It's pretty scary, so when you see people possessed like that, like usually our belief is that's like a jinn. Jinns can uh, possess people, take over, and then you have to get a rukia done, which basically gets the jinn out of that person. Guys, is my veil dirty yet? Like, I've been getting so splashed. I've been getting splashed all over the place. Okay, so okay. like my nails probably really dirty. There are no jinns, just poor fellas with mental disorders. So we no. as Muslims believe there are jinns. We believe in the concept of a jinn. A jinn is a creation of God that's made of fire. If you don't believe in jinns, why don't you read Surah Jinn? Because there's literally a chapter in the Quran named Surah Jinn. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's, uh. it's a thing. Did you just turn the fan on? Okay, please. <laughs> it's so hot in here, guys. I know, and you must be boiling in this outfit. Do you believe in the resurrection of Jesus? I believe that Jesus will return, not the resurrection, because we don't believe he died. We believe he's still alive, and he was raised to the skies alive. I was taught by my alum which we should not pet dogs because they also lick their fur which makes their fur impure. Yeah, so you wash your hands after. Yeah. You don't you don't pet dogs and then immediately after eat your food. No. That's why we're supposed to wash our hands all the time. Even, as Muslims. even with our cats, guys, we wash our yeah, hands. Yeah, we're supposed to wash our hands even with our cats. Like I went outside, I pet my cat, and then I came in, washed my hand, and then I started touching the food. Sometimes our cats go straight in the litter box and then they start jumping on stuff. Yeah, so just, you like, have to They're be, not always like, clean. Like, even though there are there is a scholarly opinion that cats are clean, that even if they, like, lick your uh, lick your food, you can still eat from that bowl. There are hadith that say that. But at the same time, you know, you have to take care of your own cleanliness. Yes. I'm sorry my English is a little broken. I mostly use German in sign language and my family is deaf. It's really interesting wow. and uh, not a problem at all. There's a lot of people who are not native English speakers, so don't worry about that at all. Hi, genius. How does the food look? It's okay. covered right now. When she opened, when we not opened it, I will show you guys. I ate a ring top earlier. Nice. I love you guys, Joanna. We love you too. Thank you. Chicken tikka masala. <laughs> Which what things can you not watch? Do you mean like TV show? Have you ever been to Pakistan Medi Bai? Not yet, inshallah guys make dua that we can go sometime. Inshallah. Oh my god, it's almost done. Oh my god, look at that guys, that looks fire. Masala. You already know that's gonna be good, I promise that's gonna be good. You know it's done when it's getting stuck to the bottom, that means like all the water is like evaporated. It's juicy too, it's not dry. Mubina? Someone is asking, what is the Islamic perspective on autism? Asking as someone with autism. 
I think you should talk to a scholar about that because there are certain exceptions that are made for people with, um, like, that are struggling with uh, mental health. Autism is actually what's interesting is it about. Is considered a developmental disability? No. The thing with autism is. is that in the DSM, as far as what we were studying when I was taking psychology, is that they're actually removing certain spectrums of autism from the DSM. They're not even going to consider it as a mental disorder because it's not one. But autism is like you're on a spectrum, so you yeah. don't really have mental disabilities as per like what it used to say in the DSM. But developmental disability is not the same as mental disability. Developmental disability, I don't think they even want to call it a disability in the DSM for autism. Okay. So in terms of autism, obviously well, there are exceptions. You should talk to a scholar about autism. I wish I knew what I could tell you guys, but I'm not a scholar, so I can't really give you guys rulings. Yeah. I can tell you like what we would do in a certain situation, but we can't give you guys rulings. I'm sorry. Edmonton here. What's okay, up? Okay, here, it's done. Okay, it's done. Okay, you guys can see Say what it. it looks like. And you know it's done when all the oil comes at the top. I was wondering if you can bow to say so hello to someone you can't touch. Yes, you can say hello to people you can't touch. No, they're saying, can you, do you have to bow? Like, do you bow when you do that? You don't have to bow. You don't have to, usually we'll just say like, um, it's nice to meet you. Be, for religious reasons, I can't really shake hands, but it's nice to meet you, kind of thing like that. You can still be polite, but I usually just keep my hand like this, or I keep my hand to my side. I don't shake your hand. Okay, there, you want to show them the finish? There. Juliet, thank you. I'm autistic. It's a development neurological disability. Okay. Because I work with the uh, developmental disabilities uh, part clinic in CAMH, and they, that's what they categorize it as. So guys, it's done. I'm going to turn the stove off. You know it's done when all the oil starts like piling at the top and uh, it starts getting stuck to the bottom. It's doing that and it's done. It's late for those of you guys asking. It's 12:42 a.m. Probably gonna stay up till Fajr. <laughs> <laughs> That's our everyday routine now. It looks good, guys. It's gonna be lit. Manha, I'm not sure. I know we follow the opinion with the seven times as well, washing it with the dog, but. I'm not sure about the dirt part and then the remaining times with water. Mubina, do you know about that? About what? So when you clean yourself seven times when a dog licks you, right? Yeah. It's the first time with dirt and then the other time with water. So it's just with water for us. We just do it like seven times with water. Yeah. I've never been in this situation to wash myself seven times from a dog lick. The most I've done is I pet a dog and then like I just wash my hands thoroughly. So it's just seven times with water here because when we're not in a desert, we can't always find dirt. Yusuf, is bowing even necessary? First of all, I get being humble with bowing. I'm not sure. Maybe it depends what culture you're in. Maybe in certain cultures they find it. That's the way they do it. Um, we personally don't really bow. That's yeah. not something that we, we even do. Wow, one year subscriber. That's awesome. Can I please have a shout out? My name is Tyler. I think it's Tiny or Tyler. Tyler. So Mubina is throwing Don in. Yo, is it that frozen? It's actually steaming frozen. I can legit see the steam on the frozen. You can? It's that cold. Yeah. Frozen, frozen. I think your cats should be in more videos. We're actually, we, we put them in a lot of videos. Watch our TikToks, guys. We have our cats in a lot of videos. I'm scared to come out to my family, but we are Christian, and so Christians are going accepting, and so are not. And I'm getting mixed feelings. Any advice? Love your channel. You're coming out to your family, but we are Christian. So, okay, I feel like it might be a similar answer to what Muslim family. Yeah. I'm not getting, I'm getting mixed feelings. Uh, how to come out, that's tough because like, I can't really relate to that. I'm not going through that. Um, I, I'm honestly not sure how to advise you on that. It's a, it's a very difficult situation. We don't want to say the wrong thing. I think you yeah. should. Um, it's hard. It's hard to advise you on that. Yeah, I think maybe you can talk to a chaplain. The chaplain I spoke to. Yeah. Are you? Are they Christian? Yeah. Yeah. The chaplain I spoke to was uh, very, very kind. He told me a lot of the rulings in terms of what happens when people come out to their families and whatnot, and he was there to like advise people on what to do when that happens. So maybe speak to a chaplain. Every chaplain I've spoken to so far has been. Kind, guys. They're very, very open In our religion, um, having desires for same sex, there's no sin for that. It's acting on desires for same sex, like having a same sex relationship that's considered haram. 
or impermissible in our religion. Um, so, like, there are Muslims who even have desires for the same sex. They just don't act on it. That's the test from God, whether they act on it or not. And it's a test that they get rewarded for that people who are not, like, for example, who are not gay, don't have to go through. So, like, or they, they, they don't have, uh, they don't get the reward for that. People who are gay would get reward for what do you think about Shia Muslims? We, we respect them as we do all Muslims. Um, the fact that somebody has to ask us what do you think about Shia Muslims is already a sad thing because I feel like the Ummah is so divided yeah, at this point that. and there's so much hatred between the different sects. It's like really, really sad. And I just want to live in a world where we can respect all sects for what they are and for what they do because as long as they're not going out of the bounds of Islam, I don't really see any reason to dislike or hate Anyone. or be disrespectful to somebody, right? Just because they don't follow the same thing as us doesn't mean that we can go to them and say that, you know, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're not a good Muslim. Yeah. Because how do we know we're the correct ones, right? How do we know we're 100% correct? No one knows they're 100% correct at this point. So, we don't have a prophet, we don't have an imam, we don't have a scholar. For you guys who are asking, i wondering what's a Shia, basically there's two, two main groups in Islam. It's like Christians, you have Catholics, Protestants, like Baptists, etc. The main ones in Islam are Sunni and Shia. Sunni is the majority and there's also uh, Shia is like the second largest group. And yeah, there are a lot of people who don't get as much into that in terms of... Ultimately, guys, we should all just try to get along, regardless of what our belief is. Um, and that's pretty, pretty much it. What are the difference between the two types of Muslims? No hate. A lot of it comes down to what happened after the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, passed away. Um, Shias believe that Ali alayhi salam was the uh, successor after Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And then the Sunnis believe that the Caliphate was basically established. Like there was an election that happened. Abu Bakr was the, the first Caliph. So um, there's some differences in the practices, the way that both groups practice, but there is a lot of similarity as well. Both groups believe in one God. Um, they, both, they both do their five prayers every day. They both have the same Quran. They both fast during Ramadan. Both give zakat, which is like the 2.5% to charity each year. It's just there's slightly different beliefs on it. But otherwise, very similar. What is your opinion on OCD coming from someone with diagnosed OCD? I'm not diagnosed OCD myself, but I possibly could be because I, I have it. I think you are. I have OCD. <laughs> I probably would be diagnosed with it. It's hard. And it, it's it's frustrating to, to, to live with. It's, it's frustrating. I think it's harder for people with OCD because other people that don't have it can't relate to people with OCD. And it can be frustrating. Like for me, a lot of the times, I feel like he's just doing it because... I'm not though. He's trying to mess with me, but he's really not. That's just how oh, it is. Should, you should never think of it like that. It's not me messing with you or anything. It's like... Sometimes I have to check the lights multiple times. I have to check the car doors, the front doors multiple times. Like I do a lot of checking, and it can it, it can take like anywhere from t like ten plus minutes to be checking and stay in the same room and check things over and over again, and it's exhausting. And it, it's just it you get a lot of anxiety if you don't do it. So I try to sometimes force myself not to check things, but it's something that's like it's not something to take as a joke. It's not a joke. Like no one wants to be doing that. Here, this is enough for you. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, it's, it's I, I poured it. It's not the neatest pour. <laughs> it looks great. It looks great. Are you sure? Yeah, it looks good. I can clean it on the edges of it. It's up, it's up to you. It looks great. I'll clean it on the edges. Take some medication. My OCD is more organizing. Mine is checking. Like, for example, I'll go like this on the freezer, right? Can I show? Mm -hmm. Legit, like, I'll go like this, and then I'll check this, and I'll go like this, and then check this, and then go like this, and then check this over and over again to make sure like the freezer mine's kind of like for safety for making sure the stove is off i'll check that like when this is done i'll probably check the stove like five times <laughs> it's not something i like doing it's just something that you kind of can't help it's something that developed with me over time so i'm glad i'm not alone some of you guys said that's me too but for others it's not a joke it's not something that we do because we want to it can be exhausting it looks great guys I have OCD, I'm almost asymptomatic now, but oh my god, I remember how bad it was. I was tortured, I wish you the best in recovery as possible. If you guys have any tips on how to deal with it, let me know, because that would be helpful for me. 
even with prayer, one thing that's really, I've never really shared, a big one for me with is prayer. I struggle with OCD like crazy. So when I'm, when I'm making wudu, and I'm doing wudu, I take forever. I even go like this, like I, I do this. Mubina see me do it. Like I check my, my arms My mom washed. does it too, guys. I check my nose, I check my face, I check my hair, everything's washed. I do this over and over to make sure I've done my wudu. Like I check my foot, right? And then when I'm praying, I have OCD that I forgot a rakat. So I end up doing extra usually for most of my prayers to make sure I didn't miss any. My mom actually kills herself. <laughs> making wudu or praying because she doesn't remember yeah. that she did it right or not. So. And some of us also use paper. You can use paper, like little pieces of paper. When you're done a rakat, it's basically um, our prayers have a certain number of rakats when we're doing our prostration. So number, a certain number of times we do it for each prayer. You drop a piece of paper when you're praying so you know, okay, I've done this for sure. Right? And it's a way of keeping track. So OCD is something that doesn't just happen for me, at least in one area of my life it happens including in prayer and other aspects but they say people with OCD are neater and have faster reflexes than others so that's an advantage and some I, I can't speak for myself and say I have that I don't know um, I just do a lot of checking that's it I'm so glad I can relate not that I'm glad you have it yeah I've never shared that really with you guys but it's something that is like really frustrating so guys his dinner is ready time to read it Time to read it. There it is, guys. I can show you. <laughs> guys, I'm telling you in person, this looks a lot better. You did a great job. I'm, and it tastes really, really good. It tastes really good. You haven't tasted it yet. I'm talking about past. It tastes really okay, good. Okay, yeah. In the past, it tastes really good. Uh, hey, Omar Khalil. You're here. Beautiful timing. Medina ice cap. Yeah, I got my ice cap today, but I was... I forgot my wallet, wallet, guys. I forgot my wallet, so she had to buy it today. I... <laughs> okay. Let's see if he likes the Atari chicken today. Non it's too hot, baby. What? Okay, let's see. She's giving me, like, a death stare up here. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> what are the comments? Why... What God do you... What God do you believe in not trying to be rude? We believe in the one God that the whole world believes in. So there's one God that every single person in the world believes in, and we believe in that one God. Okay. You guys can give God different names. The Arabic for God is Allah, so we call God Allah. Okay, I gotta eat this guy. I'm burning my finger. This is the other one. Okay. Mac and bake. It's good, guys. It's good. It's, it's really hot, but it's really, really tasty. I'm gonna destroy this after this life. Guys, I made a chari chicken after a very long time. I miss it. Perfect we were timing. really like craving a chari chicken. I'm so happy. And it's good. I like how it's like sour and flavorful at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, if you like, for me, I like a lot of dishes with tomato in it, with like chicken and tomato, and it's got that, uh, is the word tangy? I'm not sure if that's the word. It's like Sour. a sourness with the chicken, with moist chicken and tomato-y flavor. It's really, really good. And it absorbs all the flavors inside the chicken. Do you like me or the cats more? Why are you hesitating? She's hesitating. Oh, snap. Why are you hesitating? No. So the Christian God is your God, you just have a different way of worshipping Him, I see. So it's like, the Christian God, the Father, is the same God as ours. We don't have a concept of Jesus as the Son of God. We have Jesus in our religion, a very important prophet. I've named myself after Jesus as Isa. In Arabic, is the same as Jesus. So that's the same thing. You could, we can, as Muslims, we can name ourselves after prophets, which is pretty cool. We should really hey, do a video where we're reacting I know, to... Right? We should really do a video where we react to the hate comments we get on YouTube and TikTok because some of them are just so funny. Guys, we get a like, lot of hate comments. We just got one right now. I just saw one right now randomly because literally every time I open, we get at least one hate comment. Yes. So the person's like, I don't agree with your religion. And cool. I'm just here wondering, like, when did I say you need to agree with my religion? No one is telling you to agree with Islam. It's just funny because, like, every time people come to our videos, they just assume that we're trying to convince people of something when we're really not. 
I think a lot of people misunderstand us sharing what we do as us pushing our beliefs and values on you guys, which is not what we do. But there's a way to push beliefs and values on other people. It's usually like, pretty clear, isn't it? Yeah. Like, someone's pushing it. Like, say for example, we made a video where we're like, guys, you're following a wrong religion, right? Allah is the best. Allah is um, Allah is everything. Allah is King. Allah is Lord and Savior. You need to follow Allah. Imagine if we made videos like that. And I'm not trying to offend people that say that about Jesus, but guys, you really need to understand that there's a certain way of advising people about your religion, and you shouldn't be pushing your religion on people because it's just going to deviate from the purpose and it's going to push people away. Would you guys see the Passion of the Christ? I've wanted to see that movie. I've seen it. I wasn't allowed to see that movie when I was younger because my parents were just, I don't know, they didn't, or someone didn't It's me. gruesome. That's why. Yeah. It's very, very gruesome. I don't know how they made that like movie and how they were allowed to make that movie, but it's extremely gruesome. And it's not for kids. Don't watch it if you're a kid. Yeah. My policy for hate comments is that if you're going to go out of your way, at least be original with your insult. Yeah, some of these are, some of these, like, um, People are asking, how did I get here? Like, how did I get on your video? They say, like, this channel's stupid, whatever. And then they go and comment on five different other videos. It's like... And say the same exact thing. They get this out of my recommended, yet they comment on, like, ten different videos. It's like... Guys, here's a tip. <laughs> here's a tip. If you're a hater and you're on our live right now, Scroll. here's a tip for you. Scroll our video if you don't want our... Rec like, if you don't want to be recommended our videos. Also, do not comment on our videos if you don't want to be recommended mm. our videos. Like, the algorithm picks up on what you comment on, what you engage with. And if you engage with our videos, whether you dislike it or like it, you're going to see us on your feet, whether you like it or not. We're not trying to push it in your face, guys, the video. It's just if the YouTube recommends it, what can I do? A lot of people say, we blocked you. How are you still on my feed? And like, if you blocked us, how are you still commenting on my video? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Make it make sense, guys. Yes. Any advice for people wanting to convert but don't have like a local equivalent to a priest or a church? Also, does one have to learn Arabic? So, no, you don't. I knew no Arabic when I converted to Islam. It's something that you learn. You can learn after you convert. Um, you don't need to. For for example, you said so. Priest of a church, we call them like an imam or sheikh. Uh, you can find them at the mosque, but you don't have to go to a mosque to convert. Mm -hmm. If you can't find any place, like, it, it's good when you go to, a, like, a mosque, for example, people witness it, things like that. It's good to do it in a public environment, but, like, if you can't find that, you can convert at home if you want to. Islam is not meant to be difficult, where you have to do things like that. If, if you, It's good to do it, but, like, if you have no access, that's okay. Okay, guys, so we're gonna end our life, because we need to go eat, but before we do we're gonna show it, them the cats, though, we need we to go. show you guys our cats. So we're gonna show you cats, guys. Come outside with us so we can show you our cats. You're gonna have to keep it in landscape mode, by the way. Like this? Yeah. Guys, if you see any mess, don't mind it. Yeah, so guys, Sierra's still, right here. We still need to clean up our place. We have to clean our place, guys. Where is it? Yeah! Okay, let me flip the. I'm gonna flip the camera, guys, to see if I can like. If I can figure out how to. There we go. Who's Sierra? They spilled their food all over the floor. So this is baby Sierra. Sierra. We have three cats, guys. If you have. This is cat number one. Hi, Sierra. Say hi. Hi. So that's cat number one. They have a little toy. Okay, let's this is get cat, cat number, number two. two. Let's get cat number they completely destroyed their cat house, guys. Like, Sierra's been eating this. They destroyed it. At guys, some point, we're going to have to get them a new one, but they like it. They did the same on the other. Look what they've done to this cat house. Hi, Hazel. Guys, this is Lunar. This is baby Hazel Lunar. that you guys see in the videos. This is big Lunar. This is Lunar. Look this is our so biggest cat. Staring. Look at Lunar. Two of them are tabby cats, brother and sister, and Sierra is our new adopted baby. And she's being very loud right now. She's so cute. I know, guys. This cat house got wrecked. We're going to have to get them a new one. Look at this guy. He's just chilling. He's Hi, sweet. Lunar. I have to use oh my god, his eyes. It's like, what are you doing to me? Lunar is very sweet. He's kind of a little squirmy. He's our only boy cat. The other two are, are girls. Yeah, let's get Hazel. This is baby Hazel. Easy. So this is Why Hazel's easy? brother. We adopted both as a bonded Why pair. Easy? They look like they're planning world domination. They're like... T Sierra runs this house, honestly, this baby Hazel. Hazel has been a bit sick, but we've got her on medication. So inshallah, hopefully she gets better. Guys, keep our cats in your prayers. 
We adopted Sierra, and I think something spread to our other cats, but we've got Hi. them on medication. They're doing a lot better now, Hi. so make dua for our cats, guys. Pray for them. You know that song, My Money Don't Jiggle Jiggle? We wanted to do that video. My Money Don't Jiggle Jiggle. <laughs> it folds. It folds. I want to see you wiggle wiggle for sure. <laughs> Let me try doing it with I have Hazel. a cat that's jumpy, always Let me meows, try. and always runs for Let me. Let me try. My Money Don't Jiggle Jiggle. Let's do it. Okay. Go sing it. I don't know the song. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I wanna see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. I don't know the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> he's so, he's so cute. <laughs> you guys wanna see my, my hand compared to Mubina? Guess what guys, I actually have smaller hands than Mubina. I'll show you. That's Here. my hand and that's his. No, other hand, can you use the other hand? Yeah. Okay, I actually have very small, people say I have feminine hands, I don't know. He does have feminine hands and they're so pretty. Her hand is I'll actually show. bigger than mine, so. Yeah. She's so cute. Sierra likes to make a lot of sounds, eh, honey? She likes to play a lot. She, she has her attention. little. Hi, honey. She's very light. Sierra's like, uh, you can one hand her. She's she, very cute. She's like five pounds. These other ones are like 10 pounds. This is what she does. She's very small. Don't sniff her. You're behaving yourself, Sierra. Beautiful cat. This cat has like seems to have like a, a fondness for Mobina. Whenever she comes outside, she starts screaming with with joy. No. My belly don't fold. It jiggle jiggle. Thank you, Juliet. <laughs> we're we're this... cat we're cat parents, guys. Maybe someday we'll have real baby. But these are our children for now. That's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, where's the tail coming from? Meow. Look at the tail. So guys, this cat right here, we adopted a few, like probably about a month or so ago. A month or two, I don't know how long it's been. This cat was actually abandoned outside. Sierra was abandoned outside. So in Quebec, they, in, which is part of Canada, some people actually, when they move, they just leave their cats, abandon them when they're moving because the new place that they move into doesn't allow them to have cats. So this cat was basically left outside, which is really sad. Thank you so much, Savannah, for that. Guys. Isn't that really sad, guys? There's so many cats. If you guys ever adopt a cat, and especially those older cats, if you're able to adopt an older cat, that's amazing because these cats need love too. These cats need love too. This girl had a rough past before, and she she came to us when she was sick too. She's been sick, but alhamdulillah, she's gotten better. Guys, my face veil is probably full of cat hairs at this point, isn't it? Look how many cat right. hairs it has. Oh, yeah, look at the hairs. <laughs> we get lots of hairs on our clothes. We roll it up. Roll, roll, roll. That's so sad. Yep. Sierra is the baby. She's one years old. The other cats are about two. They're two years old. Their birthdays are around the same time. Guys, we want to show you how this one fetches. Sierra, where's your spring? Where's your spring toy? Your spring. I want to see where her spring toy. We gotta find her spring, guys. Where's Where's Sierra's spring? Where's your spring, Sierra? We gotta get our place set up for you guys so then we can do like a house it's tour. It's gonna happen sooner than you guys house think. House tour is gonna be coming up. It's just our place is not set up. It's even right now it's gotta be clean as well. So we apologize for that guys, but Yeah, we're sorry for the mess. Yeah. Where is it? Where have you hidden the If you spring? can hold this I can search for it. Okay. How do you flip the camera? I'm on the left side on the bottom, bottom left. Okay, well, I don't know if it needs to be flipped because we're showing Sierra. It's 1 a.m. for me. It's, I think it's 1 a.m. for Sierra, us, too. Sierra keeps burying her stuff under the couch. <laughs> oh, it's under there. Of course it is, Sierra. Mubina, we're going to end our live stream to eat Mubina cats. <laughs> yeah, exactly, guys. I think it's a weakness. What are you doing? We gotta, we gotta get out. Where get is out Hazel? Hi, get Sierra. If you guys want to see cat stories, follow us on Instagram. We post a lot. That's this is her spring, favorite guys. toy. Is this Sierra's favorite toy? Get, get it, Abby. Oh, she just rubbed on it. Yeah, she does this? that. Hey, Sierra. Okay. Go get. Guys, look how she fetches. That's a litter box. <laughs> she tends to bring it back to us usually and drops it on the floor. But she brings it back. She literally brings it back. Watch, she'll drop it on the floor for us. Yep. Yep, she dropped it. And now she's going to get it They also like again. laser pointers as well. <laughs> Where's the laser pointer? Oh. Is your name the same on Instagram? Yes, it is. Same name on Instagram, guys. Follow us there. Oh, snap. See, she drops it. She legit fetches like a dog, guys. 
We posted this on our story too, how she fetches. This cat is Guys, a look how many cat toys we have all over the place. This is a cat hamper, cat tunnel, cat everything. Everything is cat. Cat, cat, cat. Cat house. <laughs> Come on, Sia, we love animals here, guys. All right, guys. Well, no, don't do that. <laughs> I've got a laser pointer here. <laughs> Where are you guys from? We live in Canada. My cat does that too. Well, yeah, it's it's interesting because the other cats we have don't do that. What do they do? The fetching thing. Yeah, only this one does. All right, guys. We're going to end our live now because we need to go eat. Yes. And so, as much it as I want to really show good, you guys. Cats, I didn't give you a rating. I didn't give you a rating. What is the rating? 10. 10? 10. It's really, really good, guys. The chicken was really good. Are you sure? This is one of my favorite foods. After biryani, this is probably my second place. Are you sure? It's super good. Guys, try Shari Chicken. Look it up. It's super good. Are you sure? I promise you it was really good. I promise, promise it was really good. Okay, guys. We're going to end the live because I've got enough compliments to fill up a whole night. And until next time. Hey guys, thank you. Just want to say sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you guys for all who participated in the live. Julia, thank you for moderating. I don't know if Sister Zaina is still on here. I don't think I so. I don't think Zaina is here. But, but guys, thank you so much for being part of this live. And we'll catch up with you soon. But yeah, thank you, Zaina, too. If you end up watching the live later on. Thank you, everyone who joined us. Keep in touch with us on Instagram, guys. And we'll post a link to the Discord if you want to join. Exactly. Until next time. Assalamu